Well, Paul and I met in high school and we dated throughout our senior year. And then uh, I went to the University of Florida up in Gainesville and we dated long distance up until our uh, spring break. I went to Stetson University, but at the end of our freshman year, we broke up and went our separate ways. Um, Ed remained at the University of Florida, graduated and stayed in the Orlando area all his adult years. I transferred my junior year in college to Atlanta and finished up college there. I stayed in Atlanta, worked, married, had a family. And then at our high school reunion, uh, we saw each other for the first time in 29 years. Last fall. Because we broke up and because I lived in another state for all those years, our paths just never crossed in all those years. Um, I had not come back for any class reunions. Uh, not the 10th, not the 20th, not the 25th. While we were uh, waiting to get ready for the homecoming parade, um, we were gathering with our uh, class of 82 um, up uh, at Stetson on the boulevard uh, by our float, and we just ran into each other there. Um, I didn't realize he was not married. He did not realize I was not. So we just started talking and um, kind of caught up on each other's lives uh, on the float during the parade. Yes. Uh, dinner and drinks afterwards with everybody, the football game, the next day with everybody, um, the rest of the weekend. Just kind of got to know each other all over again. We, I, uh, you know, yes, we were very, uh, at least I was very much in love. <laughs> Back in high school, yes, she was my first love and I loved and cared for her immensely. He was my first, the first boy that I dated and he turned out to be my boyfriend for a long time, my first sweetheart. <laughs> However, I felt like I was very young and um, not ready to make such a serious decision. So um, we went our separate ways. And um, I think when you're our age now, approaching 50, you appreciate things you did not appreciate when you were a teenager. I live in Orlando and Paula has since moved down to Orlando and uh, we're looking to build a house together and uh, and move in there with uh, her two daughters and uh, basically uh, look to have fun and grow old together. People ask me, um, with the turn of events, how life turns out the way it does. And uh, I truly believe, going back to that reunion, how I chose the 30th reunion out of all the ones that we have had since high school, to go back and run into my first love, I had to be some sort of divine intervention. I really think like that God had a, a plan for me and this was the place I needed to go and the person that I needed to look to spend my future with. I've never felt so loved and I'm very blessed and uh, very happy that we're together and I can't uh, wait until each day that I get to spend with her. I truly feel very blessed. I'm looking forward to many, many happy years together with Ed, uh, experiencing all that life has to offer that to me is yet undiscovered. We want to thank everyone for coming and sharing this special moment with us. I can't think of a better way to celebrate my happiness and Paula's happiness with the friends and family. Uh, that means so much to us. So thank you so much for sharing in this special moment. Perfect. <laughs>